Hi everybody. I'm going to show you how to connect M2 to a car. So here we have up on our workbench the guts of a 2006 Ford Fusion. And we have a gas pedal. There's the ECU. Uh, there's the gauge cluster. Um, here's the OBD2 port. Uh, you might recognize some buttons and things like that. And, and this lets us play around and, and test uh, both M2 and firmware and and other things. So we tapped into the original cable harness going between the gauge cluster and the rest of the car and we figured out what wires were did what by finding uh, this document on the internet. This is a this is the connector from the the back of the gauge cluster. Um, it's got 20 pins and we've with this document we we're able to understand and find where power was. That's this one B plus. We got ground. We got Medium speed and high speed can. This, in this case, we're tapped into the medium speed can channel. Um, and in fact, we discovered that this one is the wrong. It's actually violet and orange, not violet and gray. Whatever. These are the things you're going to run into when doing car hacking. Okay, we also have M2 connected to the car via USB cable. We also have M2 programmed with a special piece of firmware called GVRET, Generalized Vehicle Reverse Engineering Tool. And this piece of firmware allows us to, to talk to another piece of software called SavvyCAN. And both of these are written by Colin Kidder. SavvyCAN is now showing all of the CAN bus messages going back and forth inside the car. Um, it's a lot of information. In fact, we're seeing uh, 60, about 60 messages every second so this is pretty hard to read and understand what's going on but we can do a few things with this cool piece of software to make it a little easier to see what's up let's uh, select overwrite mode and what this is doing is showing us every message timestamps changing but the data is not changing so what's kind of nice here is by doing different things to the car we can look for data that's changing so let's go ahead and, uh, in this case, let's press a button. Here's the emergency flasher button. And we look to see if anything changes. And, and look at that. Every time the flasher flashes, we see this data changing with this ID. So now we know that somehow ID 383 corresponds to our flashers. Okay, so then what do we do now? Well, just to try something out, just for fun, we wrote a little sketch that simply takes that message with ID 383. We program that to another M2. In this case, it's a under the dash version. And our sketch simply spits out that message every one second. So let's go ahead and plug it into our OBD2 port. Hey, look, it's flashing. That's cool. That's just a simple, silly little demonstration showing what can be done once you can see messages pass back and forth in your car, read them, filter messages, and start sort of reverse engineering how your car works. Thanks. <laughs>